Ladies and gentlemen, watermelons and porcupines, welcome to this lesson on the parts of the cell. Now, today we're only going to talk about the animal cell. And when you look at it, the first structure you encounter is the cell membrane. The cell membrane is made of phospholipids, the special kind of molecule in which one part really likes water and one part really doesn't. This is why the cell membrane has this double layer shape. One of the main functions of the cell membrane is to control what gets in or out of the cell. Small molecules like water, carbon dioxide or oxygen can pass freely through the membrane, but larger molecules need a special protein that serves as gate. The space inside the cell is called a cytoplasm and is filled with organelles and a gel-like substance called cytosol. This big pink organelle is called nucleus. The nucleus contains the chromosomes with your DNA and a small structure called nucleolus, where ribosomes are made. This network of tubes and bags connected to the nuclear membrane is called the endoplasmic reticulum. The bumpy part, called the rough endoplasmic reticulum, is responsible for making some proteins. This is because the bumps are actually ribosomes, special cell machines that make proteins. The other part of the reticulum, the smooth endoplasmic reticulum, is responsible for making fat molecules. This red organelle is probably the most famous structure in a cell. The mitochondria is responsible for cellular respiration. This is the process by which the cell combines oxygen and glucose and releases carbon dioxide, water and energy. Cellular respiration is the reason why the mitochondria is called the powerhouse of the cell. Now this yellow system of tubes that kind of resemble the Wi-Fi symbol is called the Golgi apparatus. Its job is to perform exocytosis when the cell spits something out, like when a cell secretes hormones, for example. The Golgi apparatus is also responsible for making vesicles, small pouches of membrane that detached from it. Some special vesicles called lysosomes contain digestive enzymes and therefore they are responsible for cellular digestion. And finally, this couple of green structures are called centrioles. They are involved in cell division. That's it for today. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I see you next time.